Hello and welcome back to Monday Minute Live, the show where we support you in coping with a hostile environment. I'm Tiff. And I'm Evan. And today we're going to talk about the importance of never speaking fear into being. Yeah. In this hostile environment, things are going to come across our radar that elicit a negative emotional reaction in us. But the trick is to get our catharsis, to find a supportive ear to be lent to us that we can just share what we're feeling and experiencing so that person can just listen, can just be there, can just provide the pillow, the cushion for our hard feelings to land on and disperse and disintegrate. And we really get our catharsis, get healed, and can face the next moment fresh. And it is through the speaking of our fear that we actually create these hostile environments of feeling separated and unsupported. Yeah, so rather than the complaining and griping and acting as though things are hopeless and they're not going to change, express what we've felt and express that hope that things can change and that becomes oftentimes the impetus to then collaborate and find those solutions that are going to make the world a better place for ourselves, our tribe, and everyone. And a great example of this, there's a PBS series called The American Experience, and they do, um, I think it's episode six they do on Woodstock. And just to focus on the day when it started pouring down rain. Now, had everyone spoke their fear into being, you would have had 500,000 angry, wet people, and who knows what cacophony and chaos would have risen out of that. Mm -hmm. Instead, what you had was love and harmony and children, 500,000 children re and people return to their childhood innocence and wonder and playing in the mud and uplifting one another. Mm. It's a mad story all around us and remember that we always have that choice. This is our life story to write so we can make it a love story even if it's going to be a mad love story. We appreciate you joining us. Comment below. Join the conversation. We need you in our soul tribe and we love you and we want you to join us. So come to souldocumentary.love because we are going to love you back. One, two, three, four. Let's write a mad love story. One that is ours, not mine. Let's write a mad love story since we've lost our minds. See you next week.